What's up Aries, it's your girl Ivy Ladone, your fitness mystic, and today we're gonna see which goddess would like to come forward and support you in the month of July, 2023. Highest vibrational messages for Aries for the month of July, 2023. These are goddesses, so it's about empowerment. Which empowerment message wants to come forward to support you is really what we're looking into. So Aries, how are you this month so far? Um, happy summer if you're in the Northern Hemisphere. Let's see which goddess would like to come forward with uh, an empowerment message or an upliftment uh, message. And this could be pertaining to, you know, whatever circumstance you're in. This could be pertaining to your career. This could be pertaining to uh, your relationship or the status of, you know, your romance. Um, this could be pertaining to yourself. Right, some person, some personality stuff. Woo! As I said that, some personality, some self development, um, empowerment stuff. Any other messages? Any other goddesses that would like to come forward? All right, all right, Aries. Let's see. So take what resonates, leave the rest. But the goddess that wants to come forward to support you for the month of July, twenty twenty three, is goddess Maya of Illusion, number thirty five. Take what resonates, leave the rest. All right. All right, Aries. So we work with a direct message, but I also like to look at the bottom of the deck for further clarity and support in case we need it. In this case, I am going to use it just because of illusion being something of um, not real, right? But an illusion. Um, I can look at this in two different ways. Because this is an empowerment message and the goddess that wants to come forward for the month of July 2023 for you, I'd like to tell you that not everything is as it seems right now for this month. I don't know what you're in or what's going on in your personal life, uh, but with the situation that you're really coming forward with this, like, you know, you're here and you're like, all right, what's this? What's the message? I want to let you know that it's not all that it seems. I know. But the goddess that wants to come forward for you is goddess Maya. So call upon goddess Maya or immerse yourself more and embody this archetype of goddess Maya of illusion and immerse yourself in this um not everything is what it seems because it could be to your benefit because things are not what they seem could potentially put you you know in the upper hand you don't have to make decisions right now um nothing is required of you uh step back for a second and allow things to flow because nothing is so concrete okay uh because the bottom of your deck is goddess lakshmi of fortune number 28 i do want to say that this has the potential to affect you um on an abundant level like this has multiple um this card this goddess this energy that you're dealing with right now this situation has the potential to be very abundant in its form whatever it is it means if, if it's something bad it has you know the the uh the potential to turn into something great um, if it's something already kind of great, it has the potential to be even greater um, because this is upright. It's not down. So it's telling me like this is looking pretty good either way. Either way, don't make any decisions, right? Um, because Goddess Maya comes forward and Goddess Maya is about illusion. So it's about saying like, hey, um, just just kind of take things for what they are. Be in the um, the objective pr perspective kind of like put on those 3d glasses and just kind of like watch the imax movie like watch it all unfold watch the illusion watch the stories watch it all be an observer in the month of july aries okay with your situation don't be so like we need to make this decision and i know that that's kind of like counterintuitive for you because you know you're like hello if things need to be done things need to be done if i gotta go i gotta go i gotta do i gotta do but my friend, for the month of July, Goddess Maya is like, no, hold on, sit back for a second, immerse yourself in this observer's kind of role and just flow with it, okay? So I hope that this helps you, Aries. Let me know what situation you're in if you'd like to be that vulnerable. And if not, that's okay. That's okay. Keep it to yourself. I'm here to help you. If this does help you, please give this a like so that I know that you enjoy this kind of stuff. And thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.